Hi there, and welcome to this Risk of Rain 2 tutorial. And this tutorial is on how to get to the new Bulwark's Ambry, which has been added to the game in the latest update. Now, the first step to actually get to Bulwark's Ambry is to actually get to Stage 5 or get to Sky Meadow. Sky Meadow has consistently been on Stage 5 for me, so that's why I said Stage 5 or Sky Meadow. Now once you actually arrive at Sky Meadow, this whole process can be broken down into a few steps. You can skip ahead in the video if you don't wish to actually loot anything, but here in this instance I will be. So the first step is to actually loot all of Sky Meadow, as you'll want every advantage and item you can have when you go to get your artifact. The second step is going to be actually finding the area in Sky Meadow itself. You can do this a few different ways, but I found the best way was to go to one of the outside areas of the map and look below the map. And you'll be able to see it and you'll just have to make your way over to there. And there's also a different way you can actually find it. So the other way to find it is you can come over to this ledge here which is next to this closed over vault door. In my runs it's always been closed over, never opened. Then you'll just want to drop down here. And once you're down here you'll see the stone tablet with all the different shapes on it. Now, with these nine pedestals here, you will want to make that exact shape which is displayed. Now, once you've created that shape, you'll come over to this laptop and just press the interact key. Then you'll see this portal start to open and you'll want to go into it. Alright, so once you actually arrive inside of Bulwark's Ambry, you'll be greeted by the screen which has the construct in the middle of it which will pan up to your character. Now, you'll want to get these artifact keys which always spawn on this pedestal here, from my experience anyways. 
You can actually do some before fight looting as well if you manage to find enough of the pill bottles which have coins in them. You might actually be able to get enough to actually open a chest. So that's always good because you're going to want all the loot you can have, right? So once you have your artifact key, you're going to want to head on over to the construct in the middle and press your interact button, which will then start the fight and then mobs will start to spawn. Now the only way to get artifact keys from here on out is to actually kill the mobs which spawn. Now once you simply get an artifact key, you will pick it up and you will go to the center of the room once again and you'll press the interact button on the boss itself to actually damage it. Now I believe it takes a total of four to actually kill the boss completely and that's including the one that you use to activate it. So you just want to be careful as you're going through the fight because the boss will be shooting out these red homing missiles which will damage you. Not too much but just enough to be a nuisance. And once you've actually picked up enough artifact keys to defeat the boss, you want to go and place the last one just right on the boss, hit the interact key, the boss is dead, you're finished, all the mobs die, and you'll have your artifact sitting for you in the middle of the room where it once stood. And you'll just pick it up, and then a portal will spawn, and you can just go through that portal and you can continue on with your run as normal. So in order to actually use your artifacts, you'll want to go to single player or multiplayer and you will want to select your favorite or desired character and you'll notice the artifacts tab underneath the difficulty tab on the right side of your screen. You'll just click the edit button there and just by clicking the artifact which is there, you can either disable or enable the artifact. It'll be disabled when it's grayed out and enabled when it's a normal color.